Hi, my name's Chelsea, and I'm here at Norrie Point Environmental Center. And we're here today to talk to you about turtles of the Hudson Valley. We have a few species to talk about. The eastern box turtle, the common snapping turtle, little hatchling, and our diamondback terrapin. Each of these species has a carapace, or the top shell, a plastron, the bottom part of its shell, and all have lungs, which means they primarily breathe air. Let's talk about some of the adaptations they have that vary between species. Our eastern box turtle can be found here in the Hudson Valley in forest habitat. It lives its life in moist areas of the forest, eating insects and low-hanging fruit like may apples. And one adaptation that this terrestrial turtle has is a hinged plastron. So you can see this line right here. That's a hinge. So this turtle can completely close itself off from terrestrial predators like raccoon and fox. Our next species of turtle, the common snapping turtle, is one of the largest freshwater species that you'll find in the Hudson River. It can be found in lakes, ponds, or the upper stretches of the Hudson where there's fresh water. This species has powerful jaw, really, really powerful body strength, and it gets to be really large. So there are very few predators of the common snapping turtle adults. This hatchling, however, is tiny. So bald eagles or large fish may eat this guy. And finally, we have our diamondback terrapin. This is one of the only turtle species that primarily lives in the estuarine habitat, meaning that it lives in a mix of both fresh and salt water. One adaptation that this turtle has is the lacrimal gland, which are glands that secrete salt. However, diamondback terrapins have adapted to live in the tidal marshes of the estuary, primarily by using behavioral adaptations. Thanks for visiting us here at Nori Point and watching our videos. There will be several more videos to come. Thanks.